Hi guys, uh, this is MF and welcome to my little virtual world MF for you. That's how I've started uh, naming my channel as. And uh, today, again, I'm here in this uh, Valentine Park, one of my favorite parks. Some of you must be wondering why I keep making these videos in the park. And I saw a couple of, uh, couple of comments uh, saying why you make these videos in the park. <laughs> I do not know exactly why, but uh, I love this park. I love visiting parks. I love walking. So... And I love making these videos, so why not do things which I love and you know in a, in a in a in an atmosphere which is really productive and which really makes you feel good and brings out the positivity or in you. So anyways, uh, that's uh, that's not important. What important is why I'm making this video. I'm making this video to help you guys to know what are the critical things that you should be looking at or keeping a check on while you are all set to fly or you are getting ready to fly so this is certainly not to make you nervous or even if you are missing out on some things just forget it uh, you, you won't be at loss anyway but if you have got some time even if 24 hours and there is something in the list which i'm going to discuss in this video that you can uh, you know that you can bring in or so it would be a it would be good for you it would be an advantage uh, uh, when you when you start living your life here in uk so yes, before I start, what I would like to mention that uh, the video is meant for the informational purpose. I'm not trying to promote or endorse any brand, company, product, service, any agency. This is just to guide you all and it should serve as a guiding force for all of you. The information being shared is based on my personal experience. So I'm just trying to help you guys, you know, with the latest update and the, the things that you sh would be experiencing when you come here. And apart from that, I've got a complaint that uh, I see a lot of you are watching my videos, but you're not subscribing to my channel. Why? <laughs> am, I, am I that bad? I don't think so. Even, even, even I'm, I'm talking about the information that I share. I mean, it's really something that is going to help you out when you come here. Th then you would realize how important this information is. And you know, the time is. Time is money. So if I'm, if I'm investing my time making these videos for all of you, you should be investing at least a few minutes, few seconds watching my videos liking my videos sharing them among the friend circle or the agency that you deal with or you have got your application done by and subscribe because i'm going to keep updating you guys about uh, all sort of stuff uh, maybe i'm talking about uk now i'll start talking about the us canada australia new zealand and some other countries as well so just keep looking at my videos and for that you got to subscribe to my channel so having said those two things, uh, I would like to proceed uh, with uh, what this video is meant for. I have noted down eight things or eight points I would be discussing in this video. First is the document for sure. You should be bringing or you must be bringing your passport, your visa stamp along with your visa stamp, your visa vignette letter or visa letter and your cash letter, your COVID vaccination certificate, why it is required. I've already informed you couple of weeks ago in one of my video I'll be providing a link of that video so you can cross check uh, whatever I'm discussing in this uh, list or in this video why is it required and why I'm saying so so you will have a reference from that video also you got to bring your IDP or international driving permit or your local license as well if, in case if the UK agencies allow you to drive here for at least one year with your local license if you are still if you have still not applied for IDP just leave it bring your local license at least so that would be required police clearance certificate for the jobs and security services or the jobs at the Heathrow airport that I've already discussed in one of my video and multiple copies of your resume why because the printing service is is costly here it, it I mean they, they can even charge you one pound for for a single page printout and that to a black and white so bring multiple copies prepared in advance for, for applying for the jobs uh, so example if I'm saying multiple copies so you can prepare one set for the temporary part-time jobs and you can prepare one set for your professional jobs that you that you have your background in or your academic in so that is how it is going to work so just keep it handy whenever somebody's they are going to ask you provide us with your resume so just straight away give your resume and start your application without wasting much of a time second thing is about technology why I'm saying this you got to bring one universal adapter I missed this point in my previous video so bring one universal adapter which can help you charge your phone or recharge your phone or uh, your laptop whenever required 
and a sim ejector pin why is it required again i've mentioned in my previous video a power bank a reasonably good capacity power bank maybe around 10000 mh capacity okay so that should be about technology third point is about money i know a lot of you must be bringing your forex or neo card from your respective countries you can bring as much money as you want but do not bring more than 5 to 6000 because uh, i i believe that you won't be able to pay your fees while using your forex card but certainly you can use it uh, for your daily commute for your expenses for paying at different stores that should be fine and i believe that's not going to charge and depends on what uh, forex card or what new card are you using mine didn't uh, leave any charge on on transactions that i was doing here and you can also withdraw money initial few transactions are free of course i believe for certain for certain cards so that will that is the amount that you can bring in uh, your forex card and as far as cash is concerned since a uh, lot of you must be paying your rent and deposit in advance or uh, when you come here so you should be ready with like close to 1500 to 2000 pounds uh, which includes your rent plus deposit for a month so uh, that is why uh, that cash is required plus 500 pound over and above uh, for your miscellaneous expenses maybe for your commute for your grocery and some other stuff in case if you have something to buy so that 500 pound would be more than enough and also when you travel from airport to your respective places so that is uh, what that 500 is for so that was about money the fourth point is about clothing clothing it's going to be winter when you come here so we are almost in the transition phase they call it uh, what they call it they call it autumn here yeah so this is autumn in us they call it fall so it's autumn season here so uh, you you should you should be expecting intermittent showers or drizzles so we should be carrying a good pair of jacket with a hoodie uh, so because it's it's get, it gets really windy so the umbrella is not going to work and if you are somebody who is comfortable wearing uh, the rain coats you can bring the rain coats as well but i have not seen people wearing those with an exception of one or two so far so but you you can bring it i i bought one for myself so i haven't used it yet though and sweatshirt as much as you want but do not carry too much and uh, yes for the jobs for part time jobs or for jobs in some specific stores you would be required to wear those black attire like uh, a chinos or black pant or jeans uh, with a shirt black shirt plain black shirt and a or a polo t-shirt so that you can bring apart from that i would recommend you guys to bring at least three pairs of formal attire why for for your presentations for your interviews or maybe uh, if you are lucky enough to have a job you know landed in a professional setting so they would be requiring you to be coming in a in a in a professional attire so that is where it is going to help you guys and for the kitchen appliances specifically for the indian students they keep asking that uh, what sort of kitchen appliances uh, they should be bringing in and if the pressure cooker is available or not yes it is available in the market here but it's a bit expensive what i've seen so far so you can just certainly bring some basic kitchen appliances kitchen utensils along with a pressure cooker depending upon if you are coming as a couple or in as an individual you can decide upon the capacity but yes you can bring pressure cooker along with some basic kitchen appliances and stuff do not bring much as far as kitchen stuff is concerned you can buy it here it's london you will have access and you can buy anything anything you want so and same is true for for your food food thing so just you know the food item should be enough for your 3 to 4 week of stay and then you can start earning and or not start earning but then you can start exploring market and buying your stuff depending upon what you need and what you like and dislike so that would be that makes about the kitchen appliances sixth is about the medication this is critical why you can bring in uh, the over the counter medications as much as it is reasonable not too much because if it's too much then uh, for example anti allergic medications you can bring some antiseptic creams you would be uh, requiring just in case if some something happen so do not bring uh, in much quantity it should be reasonable to justify that it is for for your use only and you are not going to sell it or uh, you know um, do some commercial activity with those so i hope you get it and for the drugs uh, which for which a medical uh, A prescription is required from a medical practitioner or a registered practitioner or a doctor you should be carrying you must be carrying a prescription along with the the 
the invoice wherever you have bought the, those medic medications from and you can bring one basic first aid kit just in case if emer emergency arises you never know right so you can bring that as well seventh is about the personal hygiene and personal grooming stuff <laughs> Some of you might be wondering why I'm saying this, but but I've seen people in a very shabby appearance, uh, and they're just uh, go visiting the campus, uh, doing work, uh, as if you know. I'm sorry to say, but it doesn't feel so professional. So you, you should be carrying your personal hygiene and personal grooming stuff, which is good for for a month again. I, I would say. And eighth, which is the most important among all the points that I've discussed so far, is bring a lot of confidence, positivity, and a sense of professionalism. So why I'm saying that, uh, you know, you're, you're not uh, representing yourself as an individual when you come here, be it uh, the place of your stay, the place of your learning, the place of your work. You really got to be professional. You're representing your country, your community, your ethnicity as a whole. So you, that is where, I mean, you know, you develop yourself, uh, not just uh, an academic person or a professional, working professional. You develop yourself as an individual uh, or your personality as a whole. So uh, that is uh, where it requires. It doesn't matter whether you are staying somewhere, you are working somewhere, you are going to the university. If you are professional, it, it, gives, uh, it helps you develop uh, you know, a sense of confidence, a sense of etiquette, how you're supposed to behave, how you're supposed to do's and don'ts. I mean, just the general things. So I feel really strong about these things. So that is why I decided to mention this thing. So having said all these things, uh, what I would say, please subscribe to my channel. <laughs> I keep saying this and I will keep saying this unless I see the response. So keep subscribing, keep liking, sharing and do comment if there is anything that you want to know more about. And additionally, you really got to be safe, healthy and happy. And we'll see you in the next videos. Take care. Bye bye.